Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a collab mani I did for Braves Diva Nail Polish. I started off with Meltique's Formula 2 and Braves Diva 7th Inning Stretch and Braves Diva Boys of Summer. I'm going to be using a lot of Braves Diva products today in honor of Tara's two year anniversary. Now this was mostly an Instagram thing but you guys know I record everything. If I'm doing it, I'm recording it. So we're going to have to break Woody out because I'm already getting messy. <clears throat> Excuse me. So hi Woody, how you doing? Oops, I got a boo-boo. Let me show y'all how I fix that. I just go over it again. There we go. Out of frame. So these are really hard to tell um, the difference, but on my pointer and pinky is a very baby blue. And on my ring and middle finger, it's a very soft baby purple. You'll get to see maybe a little bit of a difference in them here in just a little bit. So this um, video is going to be rather long because there are many, many steps to this. You guys know when I do a collab, I normally go just bonkers and do lots and lots of steps um, because I always feel honored being invited to do these that, you know, I want to put, you know, a really good effort in. Hi Woody again. So now you can see that's starting to look like a pale baby blue. And hopefully this purple one will start looking, yeah, a little more purple. But these are going to be my base colors for this Peacock Manny that I'm going to do. I'm going to be doing some reverse stamping today. So there we go. Gorgeous. I'm going to top it off with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat and get this to dry down. And I've got lots and lots more to do. So while I'm doing all that, these can be drying really nicely. Being sure to cap that free edge. There we go. I'll be using Braves Diva on the black stamping polish. And this Queen <laughs> Animal Safari 01 plate, my Beauty Big Bang scraper, and a whole bunch of stampers. I mean, just like I got a whole bunch of different brands out here. I'm going to do four of these images for all of my nails except for my ring finger. I'm going to do a different one for it. I'm just going to show one though. And this is going to be my ring finger nail, accent nail. And I know I just used this plate not too long ago. And if I would have known that we were going to be doing something for Tara, I would have like held off and not used it. <laughs> I'll also be using Cleat Chaser, and this is gorgeous. Look, I'm just going to put this over the whole image. That way when I fill it in with my colors, it's got this bling-tastic going on. I was really excited about this. And I know you're probably wondering why peacocks. Well, Tara likes peacocks. She likes peacocks and leaves and, of course, Braves baseball. So um, I didn't want to do a baseball mani. I did one of those last year. I wanted to do just something different. I'm going to be real careful trying to get down into these pointed ends of this image. <laughs> but I'm telling y'all, this cleat chaser is just so gorgeous. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys. I mean, that's pretty all on its own, just like that right there. But I'm going to fill it in with some colors. Also, Tara loves blue and purple. So I picked a couple of blues and purples to fill this in. Darker shades than what I did as my base coats, um, my base colors. I just, you know, went through my collection of her polishes and pulled out some that I thought would look nice. Now I know peacocks normally have some green and gold looking going on. Oh, and this is Chicks Dick the Long Ball. That's what I was using. That's that blue. And here's that purple one. And this is Crime Dog's Press Box. Um, but I wanted to do, you know, things that Tara liked. You know, her, her colors, her, you know, her kind of images that she likes. And, uh, you know, I hope I, hope I, I did good. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed this one. I enjoyed how it turned out. I loved wearing it. And I just had a blast getting to be in this collab with all these wonderful ladies. So on these, I'm just going to kind of mix them up. Not all of them are going to be exactly the same. Some of them I do purple in the center of the feathers and then blue on the outer, but you know, I'm just going to mix it up. 
just gonna keep on playing with it. Um, so, I guess I need to tell y'all a little bit about something. Um, Tara is one of my favorite nail artists and polish makers. I started watching her on YouTube way before she started making nail polish. And when she first started coming out with her polishes, of course, you know, I had to have some. And then I realized how amazing they water marble. So I've been hooked ever since. Because you guys know, I really do love water marbling. And her polishes water marble like a dream. Not every single one of them. She did, um, like her collection she did last year, <clears throat> excuse me, for her anniversary. They were shimmery, you know, like rose golds and pink and gold and stuff. No, they didn't water marble, but they stamped like a dream. So, you know, you're still getting two for one with her. So, I just, I love her polishes and I, and I love her personality. Her videos always crack me up and, you know, I just really excited that we're doing something for her anniversary. It's, um, it's amazing when, you know, somebody just starts out making polishes and they grow the way Tara has grown her brand. It's just so fun to watch. I just love it. So I'm just filling these in, you know, doing doing it the old fashioned way with a brush. And this isn't a special brush or anything. It's just out of a set that I got off of eBay a million years ago and I just reached down and grabbed one. So today we're just doing whatever. That kind of looks like one of those iCat manicures. But look at there. Mm, a little sneak peek. So I'm going to let these dry. At least let that one dry. And I'm going to be using Shady Pines. Also from Brave Steva. And I'm going to color in some of this peacock. You know, the head, neck, and a little bit of the main part of his body. Just to give it, you know, give it a little bit of a different look. I definitely wanted it to... You know, look like a peacock. I don't know that I accomplished that, though. You'll have to let me know what you think down in the comments after you see my manicure and my swatch photo. I'll be using this Super Dry. I get this at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to go over the whole image because I am going to peel these up off of the stampers, trim them out a little bit, and then apply them to my nails. So I'm going to want to put this Super Dry on there, you know, just to make sure it's a solid decal that I can pull up later. I love this super dry. Get it at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Sometimes you'll see it packaged and it's in the same packaging, same wording, but it says Miracle Nail on it. I'll be using the Pro FX Sticky Base base coat to adhere these decals down to my nails. And I don't put that on thick. It's almost like a dry brushing. Um, you know, I don't I don't want it sliding around or nothing like that. I just want to get it, you know, get it on there and have a tacky layer for that decal decal to stick to. Here we go. I'm going to peel this first one up. And these I put under my nail dryer for a while, I don't know, 10 minutes or so, because I wanted them dry, but I didn't want them like crunchy dry. And I'm going to trim them down as best I can to fit my nails. And you can see that's still a little sticky because it's sticking to my stuff. Sticking to my scissors, sticking to my finger. And we're just going to go around and around until I'm happy with it. Okay. Pretty happy with it. So I'm going to lay it back down on the stamper, pretty side down, so that I can line it up and stamp it down onto my nail. I've, uh, decided I really do like this method of applying them to the nail. Just gonna mush it down, make sure it's sticking really well. I'm gonna use this little tool that I got in that Model 1's gel polish set to kind of trim out and get some of that excess off of there. And it works really, really well. But this came in that like full set that had everything in it. And I was really excited to have this. But you could use an orange wood stick or a cuticle pusher. You know, a lot of those nail tools have little implements on them that could work for this. So there we go. We got the major trimming done. I'm going to go in with my acetone and clean up brush. 
and just tidy this rascal up a little bit. And I am tapping that edge down there to make sure that it's going up under and sticking to the nail. There we go. Go down the side, tap, tap, tap around the edge. Now this one I almost didn't get, um, I almost didn't, my, I almost didn't get um, the decal up high enough on my nail. I got kind of a big gap there. <laughs> So those are the feather nails. Now we're gonna do the accent nail. And I'll be honest, I should have put this bird up a little higher when I go to place it, but we'll get to that here in just a minute. So I'm gonna peel this one up. Like I said, I love doing it this way. Um, you know, sometimes I forget to try these other ways of doing things. Okay, I'm just kind of laying it on the nail, trying to figure out how much of it I want and where I want to trim. And to be honest with you, I wish I would have put more of the body, you know, like focused on the body of the bird instead of the feathers. But the feathers are so pretty. I couldn't help myself. So, but it is what it is, y'all. So here we go. I'm going to tap him down onto the stamper. Sorry, I'm out of frame again. And then I've got a little bit of residual uh, stamping polish on that. I'm going to just get that up with a piece of tape real quick. I don't want to transfer that to my sticky base. So here we go. We are plopping that one on. And it's a little wrinkled over to one side, but I'm going to mush it down the best I can and make do. Do a little bit more trimming. Now we're going to break out that little tool again and kind of trim around the edges. Now, if you're scared of using tools like this, you know, wooden, metal, or whatever, you can always clean that up with acetone. You could just do that. But I use so much acetone so often that anytime I can, you know, use something else, I, I normally try to. There we go. Look at that. That came off really well turn my paper towel around and get my acetone back out put it somewhere where hopefully I won't knock it over and here we go we're just going to go around this one and I am tapping um, up under that edge again that free edge on the end and I also tap actually on the decal itself over here on the side there we go tap 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 just to try to help melt it down to that nail make it stick better there we go. I'm going to go around the top. He's a cute little bird, though. Or she, he. I guess it's he. I think normally the males are the ones that are all done up with the colors. You know. And there we go. We're just going to tap that down a little bit more. It doesn't hurt. You just don't want to flood it. and You don't want to put too much pressure into it. So there we go. I'm going to top this one with some posh top coat and call it to done. This one was so glitzy and glammy. I just really enjoyed wearing this. This just popped right off the nail with that cleat chaser. Oh, the camera's even struggling. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed this one. I got a swatch photo coming up. There it is. I would love to hear what you think about my Manny. So that is it for today. Until next time. Be good to yourself. Talk to you.